Welcome, welcome back, and I need help at Cisco. In this example, we have to evaluate this limit, limit when delta x approaches to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x if f of x is square root of x. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to evaluate this expression. And uh, we're going to have here square root of x plus delta x minus square root of x over delta x. And now let's go in the limit process. So we have limit when delta x approach to 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x and that will be equal to the limit when delta x approach to 0 of this expression we have here square root of x plus delta x minus square root of x over delta x if you replace delta x of 0 in this expression you're gonna get what we call an undefined form 0 over 0 so obviously we have to do some algebraic steps to solve this limit and whenever you have radicals like in this case you want to use the following technique which I will show you in a moment you want to multiply by the conjugate of your uh, expression in this case square root of x plus delta x minus square root of x like this the conjugate will be x plus delta x square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x don't forget you have to have the same expression for the denominator so you keep your original expression because this guy here is nothing else the whole the whole expression here is nothing else than the number one so let's see what we get so now when we multiply the numerators this and uh, this this is a difference of square how we call it so we're gonna end up with x plus delta x right because square root of x plus delta x squared is x plus delta x minus x and the denominator will be delta x times the quantity square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x so now we can do some simplification and the first one is this one so we have limit when delta x approach to 0 of delta x over delta x times the quantity square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x you notice the delta x cancel out now and we have left limit when delta x approach to 0 of 1 over square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x in this moment we can replace delta x of 0 and we are going to have 1 over square root of x plus square root of x which we give us the final form of this limit which is 1 over 2 square root of x so this limit here is nothing else than 1 over 2 square root of x is an expression including x in this case if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help